Deleted tweet. At Skuma underscore bronze. Here's my latest drawing boyus. Your queen at CPU underscore quooks on it you has slain all in her path, and now sits atop her burning throne, among a mountain of ash and bone. Sovereign of this shattered world. Not even the might of Kidasuna could best her, or her many many companions. Helena GF. At Pikini Felony. This sure looks like a scary reality. At CPU underscore quooks on it you. Not in our timeline and dimension set, here and upcoming point just to clarify, I meant in our timelines, it will not be apocalyptic like that at all. At Carrie Kruger 17. I think that drawing, is Sockness trying to hijack you. At CPU underscore quacks on it you. He's never gonna do that. Allo. At Sonish U982 have you ever played the video game, Lego Island? If yes, what is your opinion about it? Hey, at Lane Chu. Firstly, Mama has played Lego Island during its original PC game release time, she still has the Infomaniac minifig that came with her disc copy of the game. It is a good game, a few bugs and simplistic, but good for its time. Second, oh hello, at everyone, I'm sensing heavy dimensional slash timeline distortions. I'm also sensing a time loop happening somewhere. I'm not sure where in this dimension, or who it is affecting. I was wondering if you could as and were sick some of the mailbag. Many fans have excellent questions that will help in the chronicling. I've pasted some here to make it easy for you. 1. Have you finished watching season 9 of NLP? 2. Who are the characters from the 80s that you liked the best? Any character who appeared from 1980 to 1989 is what would be a cartoon in this world. 3. I was wondering if you would ever be willing to talk about Transformers and what you like about the different series. Which series is your favorite slash least favorite? Are there any characters you love or hate? Have you ever played the any of the games and if so which ones? 4. How do you look back at Bob and his work? 5. Will you be making another music album anytime soon? 6. Could you explain more on what or who is CPU Blue Heart? 7. Will you be making any more comic books? This is all for now, thank you. Ah. Just finished brunch. 1. Yes, Mama has reluctantly watched the future episode of the season, that was very much premature on being chronicled and shown at all. 2. Mama mainly appreciated Bumblebee, Snurfette, and many others from the decade. 3. Sometime later on, that will be doable. 4. Roberto was annoying to her, but still wise and intelligent. We all very much appreciate his work and efforts that he has done before coming to C197 from 1218, and presently as he does. 5. Possible, but not likely. 6. The CPU Blue Heart is the goddess of the Commodore gaming consoles and computers. The original, Scarlet, had served a very long time, until when she had to pass on her powers and responsibilities into Mama Chris Chan, who is the present CPU Blue Heart, on top of her other responsibilities and duties. The books are continued to be made as we speak by her, personally, and everyone in this dimension, 1218, along with C197, are literally living them. So, that is a yes. What are your thoughts on and how do you feel about Josh in Ella Moon? Moon is an ally, we are of neutral feeling about him, and we are most grateful for his help and abilities throughout all of these times, despite his consciously spoken disbelief in things fictional, regardless of them all being literal fact and happening as we speak. He's in a complex position, and I have amazing respect for his ethics regarding all this. Moon knows better, and knows more than he lets on. Could you explain a bit more on the scene from Sonic U12, 9, where Nightstar meets Christine Nightwest and Star Chandler? What exactly took place in that scene and what is Christine Nightwest and Star Chandler's past story? For the record, that is still Chris Chan, but in her alicorn form, when she enters Equestria without using the Konami code to keep her human form, what's there to explain? Mama has the ability to open portals, and go to other dimensions, and she went to Ponyville, to hang with Nightster and Kun, and to wrap up Nightster's book. Simple as that. No, I'm talking about the Cantillet High scene. Oh, 
that was a misinterpretation on Mama's part that Chris Chan was actually Christine Chan, as she was visiting CHS and had that fateful meeting with the human girl who was Diamond Melody's self counterpart. Aside from that, it was also a commentary on the upgrade of Mama's EQG Minis figure that went from yellow to pink and the discovery of that QT mark. Moreover, that was a creative liberty Mama had taken for that particular book. Sometimes it might seem like I need a chart for all the variants, it's a lot. No shit. Not my fault she painted her original figure yellow and stuck with vinyl scratches QT mark for a temporary placement until when she discovered her own QT mark. Ever consider doing a commentary over the Gino dogs? I know you've said there's some inaccuracies, but also maybe more context to some things you'd want to cover? At a later date, Mama will personally do commentary on Gino's series. Do you still play on your PS4 and will you be getting them newer consoles? I've been chillin' more often in the bedroom the past months, and been distant from the PS4 and Box One consoles in the other room. And, presently, not much ample ability to bring in the secondary monitor and relocate the consoles in here at this time. Need I explain the present situation and amount of stuff in this one room again? We've been more focused on the dimensional events that have been going on. And it's easier to work on that in here, although it is getting easier to do the same outside of this room and this house and this yard as well. Have you ever listened to the song Ba Ba Orly by The Who? Chris initially wrote, heard it in a movie before. The message was quickly edited. Mama's heard it in a movie before. Do you like it? Yeah. What do you think made you a target for everything that has happened to you since your discovery on the internet? HMM, in reference to Mama. Yes. According to her memory, and it syncs up, pretty much that sweetheart search. Why do you think that search was straight as sick? Any specific reason or was it to follow the mainstream? Sorry if these remind you of bad events. Well, if you want to go deeper, then it was the epic fails and lonely and shy attempts she had made in the early 2000s in meeting other people. But, on fated points, and along with all of the other self-counterparts, it basically stems to that a lot revolves around her, and everyone was seeing her, and recognizing her as the central focus of everything, period. And in the ironic sense that originally, she wanted a special female friend back in her college days, that she ends up attracting even greater amounts of attention. And like Hiruhi, Mama was unaware for the time of this operability of hers, and that she wasn't the type as aggressive slash assertive as Hiruhi to push things forward. But, yeah, in the world, where everyone was recognizing her, she was still, lost way back then. Didn't get as much of the bad events and memories, but I was linked with the cosmos, and analyzed it further. And from that, a whole bunch of the people of this dimension linked up with their self-counterparts, and further recognized her abilities and future of ascending to deity level, and of that wanted to exploit her during a time she was unaware of that aspect of herself. Joshua Wise recognized this as well. Freaking idea guy. Could that in some way be one explanation of how a relationship would be perceived as asymmetrical? Yes. In this case, it was the ship of Chris Chan with everyone. Well I know a lot of Greek myth is randos and you sleeping around. These relationships are never presented as too practical. Not surprising. Gonna take a break, watch some vids on YouTube or something. Later. At Endless Wharf. C197s. At CPU underscore Quaxonichu has been slain, in retribution for the devastation brought on by her soda rain holocaust. But we are not done. New Los Angeles City Akinia Milwaukee officially declares war on the city of Quaville. He he he. Slime. At CPU underscore Quaxonichu. That is a big nope. Alpha timeline, yes, but that was assisted dimensions of C-194 and 1214 you've accessed. Plus, that Chris Chan teleported and escaped to ensure her timeline safety. The beta timeliners did not last long in the alpha timeline. Ours, here, is the Omega. And there is no retcon or altering on your end that can ever change things from what I have informed you now, Ben. At Jacob Sockness. I know there are at least four types of timelines. I can't describe them all in a comment though. 
I'm going to read your thing tomorrow. You seem to have an interesting deck in her cards. At Jacob Sockness. You're no sack of fresh potatoes in this timeline either, Sockness. You can do with a shut up and quit putting up as well. See you soon enough. Okay, but first off, please, pay attention, because this is Christine Chandler from Dimension 1214 who has been talking for the while now. Can you tell us what the major difference between 1214 and 1218 are? Michael Jackson lived a few more years, and put out two more albums, talking about old age and the feeling of veering on death, and not wanting to be old while feeling young. He's still odd at his time of death. And I've had to put up with Ben Saint's slime nonsense from his beta timeline into my alpha timeline. This one, here is the omega timeline. What does lightning bolt blue heart lightning bolt mean? That's our symbol for CPU blue heart, as thought up by your Chris Chan, the og that brought up every single other Chris Chan in all other dimensions and timelines. It's our remedy signature. Who is faster, Sonic or Sonishu? Equal in speed, really, with slight difference. The ability that Sonichu has by default is his electric abilities, that could trip up Sonic, if he wanted to play unfair in the foot race. Who are your favorite YouTubers? Or what are your favorite YouTube channels? Lanechu, now is not a good time for Q&A, because this brain is fatigued after a very active day. Ah uh, sure. Mm -hmm. Um, this one... Uh, you could either say, just say yes or no to if you don't want to answer it. Uh, if you could meet any of your past trolls, who would you choose? Uh, boy. Okay, let me, okay. That's... Uh, okay, feel well. free to, feel free to just say no if you don't want to answer it. Uh, it's all good, um... I think if anybody want to meet the person behind the person who pretended to be Clyde Cash, huh? That's that's a good that's a good one. Those are people because Mama heard that there was there was possibly possibly more than one person and then possibly being women, but that's beside the point. Well, uh, yeah, the person who wrote the book. Fuck it, I might as well just say uh, the person who wrote the book was Clyde's girlfriend. So, yeah. Clyde's an old one, isn't he? Uh, well, the person who wrote the book, uh, what was it? The, the, the girl who... The, the short little novelette, or whatever it was. That was Clyde's girlfriend that wrote the book. Yeah, but I was just then, saying, like, that, was an older, that was an older generation, I guess, Gerald, wasn't it? Yeah, they're all, they're all really the same. They just change identities. That's the... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, Clyde can't. I mean, yeah, Clyde Cash exists in C one nine seven, but yeah, he's been often. He's been in and out, but he's mostly long gone, essentially. But, but you're, but here in this dimension, um, you mean you say Clyde's girlfriend? Uh, I'm guessing you're referring to the referring to Panda Halo, or you know, Sarah Cassandra McKenzie, as she had called herself. Well, uh, this is a little bit of, I guess, inside baseball, but Clyde was a, uh, Clyde was a cuck, and he used to get, uh, bossed around and bullied by his girlfriend. People on the, uh, people on the PBCC and CWC forums used to make fun of him. Yeah. They fun of him more, the person who was pretending to be Clyde. They... Uh, well, no, uh, they would make they would make fun of Clyde because he had a very he had a very big ego and he thought he was the be all end all. Yeah. But uh, what do you think? Uh, you know, what do you want to be remembered as, and what do you think you will be? Uh, who do you, whoever wrote this is weird. Uh, wrote it in a weird way. Uh, what do you want to be remembered as, and what do you think you will be remembered for? Um, I guess, Mom. I guess for Mama, if. Uh... Well, she wants to be remembered as for who she is, uh, you know, with uh, for her life so far and still ongoing. Uh, she's essentially living on forever, and this body is living forever, by the way, you know that. Uh, but, but she would probably want to be remembered as kind, 
positive person she always has been and has always meant to be, and that's despite every single negative that was inadvertently or mistakenly taken done by her or said by her and taken out of contest and whatever else. Just she wants to remember for for everything that's true and positive about her, really, and uh, also that the also the literal goddess that she is. And yeah. then, of course, all her, of course, her art and books and all that. Uh, what was the second part of that question? Oh, uh, the second part was, uh, what do you want to be? Uh, the the question was, um, what do you want to be remembered as, and what do you think you will be remembered as? Oh, uh, what do I? Does she think? So, uh, you know, the second, you, you already answered the first part. The second part is just, you know, people's perception. And you yeah, kind of answered that in the, yeah, you answered that yeah. in the first one. Yeah, pretty much the same. Yeah, okay, and, uh. Bring her as a goddess. Yeah, and then, uh, this one ties in with the last. And then after this, I'll go to a more fun question. But, uh, uh, do you think the, do you think your discovery on the internet has led to more, more good or more bad? Whoever wrote that question, that's not a, uh. Not a, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say a mix. I'm gonna say mm -hmm. it was it was good for the for her mental and cognitive development, but um, bad as like you know it was emotionally scarring and damaging, but still more beneficial for the mental development <laughs> that she needed to go through. That's a good. That's a good way. That's a good way to. Uh, that's a good way to look at it. Uh, a lot of other people with even a modicum of internet fame or internet, uh, yeah, would go, you know, w uh, or have gone mad from it. Uh, somebody asked, uh, "You had to retire from the mayor mayorship of CWC Bill because it was too much responsibility." Are you sure you want to become a deity? It has a lot more responsibilities than being mayor. That um, person obviously doesn't understand the lore, but, but what, go ahead. Okay, but, uh, that was actually... Okay, well, that firstly, that fell on Christine Chen, Mama's uh, soap counterpart in C-197, and she, and she literally fell into that. And this goes along with the past... Uh, dislike of the LGBT, where you know uh, that where that where Christine Chan went forward in time to obviously an alternate timeline where they literally had come up with this uh, anti-gay serum that, and then she literally came back in time with that, and obviously uh, and this was not put in book ten, but yeah, Amanda Chan just knew that that was coming and wasn't going to be able to stop Christine Chan from doing that. But, and, you know, she was about to essentially got put in the war system, but that's, then she got stopped by Magic Chen, and she had to, res and she had to resign from being mayor at that time. And, uh, aside, and that, and aside from that, from all the other sample, all the other s specimens of that, of that particular s substance that might have been brought back in time were just essentially neutralized and properly disposed of all of it huh. except, for that, except for that which was ejected into nature because that did happen but, but obviously he came back around it's just like you know it, it hit him at first but uh he was essentially immune to it hmm. So go figure paradoxes, all timelines, and the effects, and yada 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 yada. Okay, uh, there's there's a second part to. Uh, yes, I'm get, yes, I am okay. getting to that. So, okay. uh, right. So again, that was on Christine Chan. Uh, this uh, this did not affect uh, Mama as much because you know she the bigger head even above Christine Chan and uh, and just the rest of us and in our area, Quickville, and all that, along with everybody. All the others, like we, you know, in our dimension, we also have everybody else, including Donald Ducks, Homer Simpson, Peter Griffin, Eric Cartman, Gumball Watterson, uh, Kim Possible, 
yada 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 yada. Everybody else that's that's living that's living our dimension on Earth and in uh, in our space and all of that. Uh, but all right. So meanwhile, back here to York to York. Christine, your Christine Weston Chandler signed you up 1218, your Chris Chan, the, the OG one. Yeah, she's always been a deity, and she had been training to be a deity throughout her entire life without realizing it. And just this bit with uh, being cited as mayor, well, that was mainly on Christine Chan's part. That was, I was just uh, more also kind of in part to Chris Chan as well, but yeah. Uh, it was just a whole bunch, of, but when it came to her just feeling being off and on in this dimension, it was essentially due to the faded events and the cosmic differences between dimensions and timelines and so forth. And plus, also the emotional bullshit she was getting from all those freaking haters and bullies over the years <laughs> and all that. And then, so it just she needed some more time to toughen up, and then. She did, and within the, and throughout the months with Idea Guy, we ended up with her finally step again, going to make taking her real first steps into becoming a deity with uh, getting help from Scarlet, the original CPU of the Commodore consoles, thus promoting Mama to that to that bunch of responsibility as well, because we all felt that it was time for her to take up that part and it was a time of need considering what the shit idea guy was doing at the time. So yeah, mom has been actually been progressing and doing a whole lot better since then. So yeah, essentially she has stepped up and earned is earning more so the right to be a the literal deity that she is. And that was a brain full and a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> but you did good. That was a yeah, lot. Um, okay, this is uh, yeah, this oh. is the second part to it, and it uh, it makes sense in a way. It says uh, to reduce stress over being a deity. Why not give someone else the mantle of CPU blue blue heart like you gave Allison Amber the mayorship of CWC Bill? Um, we already have somebody for that. That's uh, literally our CP our present CPU. Of our secondary CPU of Quickville, the CPU battery charged Blue Heart. Uh, damn, why is this brain being well? The one, the, the girl that was formerly known as uh, formerly known as Anurbus. I. Why is the current her current name escaping this memory? Jeez. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, uh, something uh, I'll have to look it up later. But anyway. So, she is our second... De she's like our CPU younger sister. Like, you know, purple sister is to purple heart, you know, as, a, like, as you know, Nepgiver to Neptune. In, like a like, CPU candidate? Yeah, there you go. That's the right term. Although, yeah, during the time when Mama was stepping up towards becoming an official CPU herself, we had... Uh, Barry charged Blue Heart telling in that role yeah, mm -hmm. and, and first in Mama stead at that time to fill out the role that we needed at the time during those months of freaking idea guys. Hmm. Uh.